and welcome to another episode of Vampires and Vitae. Thank you again for joining us. We'll start like we normally do with a little bit of an introduction from the last episode from Tyler. We did have some moments where we were in the jet, Anna and Danica were as always upside down, having a time. <laughs> Anna and Danica had a good moment where they were talking about the loss of her sire. Uh, Daedrus came in and uh, kind of dropped a little bit of a bombshell that he had actually also lost his sire a long time ago, which is why he was alone in Vegas and why he doesn't really he hangs out on like the you know the outs, uh, yeah, outskirts of the I underground. Love that moment, actually. The Walking Saint and the yep. Jessica were playing a game of checkers. Uh, they were super into it. It was kind of the uh, what's the next move going to be? They were sure. relishing the moment kind of idea. Um, Danica tried to light the plane on fire. Yeah, we uh, we got into the car. We made Lawrence drive. Uh, Danica, she had her head out this summer. Yeah, with your dog. We just pulled up to a hotel. Uh, Lawrence opened a letter that he had received mm -hmm. from a valet. Danica is on the verge of a complete mental breakdown. Daedrith is a little nervous to meet the parents. That's what's going on. That's what's happening. Welcome to Vampire. Uh, let's start with a little bit of introductions across the room. Uh, I'm Melinda. I play Anna, the offspring of Rasputin. And she's a Tremere, so she does blood magic and stuff, and everybody thinks she's a little wacky, and nobody understands how she does what she does. So Honestly, you are kind of a little wacky. She's pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm Sarah. I'm playing Danica. She is a Toreador, so she likes pretty things. Uh, recently become besties with Anna, because they're both kind of weird. I would say so. She's not as weird, but <laughs> and she uh, she lost her sire, so she's kind of on the fringe right now. But she has a new best friend with a dog. Yeah, I have a dog and mm -hmm. a friend. Mm -hmm. well, it's more than I had before. There you go. Good evening. My name is uh, Tyler. I'm playing Daedrith, known as Day, the anarchist Bruja, who may or may not have a crush on Lawrence. What? <laughs> Tune in next week for the people. I do it for the fans. Yeah, right. <laughs> so Lawrence looks down at the envelope, it's, it's a beautiful piece of parchment. Like it's almost like it could have been made out of cloth. Like it's so movable. He unwraps it, very crisp card. A little worried, but there's a smile on his face and he closes it and puts it in his back pockets. You guys are all taken into, that really nothing's happened here comparative to Vegas. I mean, like you just saw destruction. You just saw one of the world's biggest cities essentially fall to its knees in front of whatever like this city yeah. thing. This seems like it's pretty well protected. When you pulled up, it looks like a mansion. Very large, very not, not much on either side of it. You can see bamboo maybe to 20 feet on each side. Doors open. You guys want to get out? or yeah, I feel safe. I'm hopping out. All right. Yep. There, there's one man sitting as you walk up you see a fountain there's a guy in front of it he has his hands folded in a very traditional kimono kind of feel to it he looks like it, as if he's dressed for the occasion uh, with your group there's also the Prince of Vegas a Jesticar and a walking saint and the left hand of God and an agent and, and an agent and, and Jessica and Jessica. So this uh, is quite, like the I mean, this is quite uh, what they would consider an honor. I mean, you guys would little, uh, be the smaller fish in this circle, but still. We did fight a god. I mean, like, yeah. Uh, and also, even your positions in Vegas would give you prestige. Like, you could go to Tokyo and be well received, you know? I mean, like, no. I mean, yeah, with, with the, actually the exception of you, I mean, like, you're known, but like, they'd be like, okay, just don't do bad things to you know, yeah, today. Don't party too yeah, right. hard. Yeah, exactly. Just don't don't get that kind but of trouble. Danica would probably be the least known, right? You would. Uh, Dante would have been. Yeah. I mean, You like, would have been known by association, yeah. I would assume. Yeah. Like, no, no, I, no, I think by name, but like, you, you're in a high regard, but also not on the level of Dante. Like, yeah. at, at this point, you'd be, oh, uh, that's uh, Dante's child, you know, like, which is not true anymore, so. Yeah. I mean, technically true, but he's not in existence. We'll see how that goes. Um, not a lot of people know that yet. Yeah. yeah. That, that happened very recently. Eight hours ago. Yeah. <laughs> we will keep it that way for as long as possible. All right. Fair enough. So it's a gentleman. He has his hands crossed in the kimono. 
Welcome to Tokyo. I am Urushura. It has been fantastic to know that you have been brought to us today. And he bows towards your princes right there, you know, in his little short little outfit, gold deep. And he sees the left hand of God, a deeper bow again. That's probably the most respect that he can give, knowing that like he really doesn't want him there. Everyone knows that like this wouldn't one of the Inquisition would never be accepted into a palace for the vampire that runs the Camarilla. But this is a definitely a moment that all of you realize that you're combining. You guys are, he looks at the Jessicar and the left hand of God and does another bow. He sees your dog, a little taken aback about it. He goes, um, we don't usually have animals of your size in our house, but for the reasons around today, we will accept what you have brought. Your dog sits up and does one of these. Sits pretty. <laughs> Because we can understand, well, smarter than average. Of course, I didn't know yeah, you could right. do party tricks. He looks to you and goes, respect? Good, mm -hmm. good. Respect. Mm -hmm. Rasputin goes, okay, go on, like, like, nice house, let's walk inside. So the gentleman bows to all, the entire group. He goes, please, this way, we have rooms set up for everyone here. If you would not mind following me, I'm sure that we're all hungry and tired of being in small spaces. And then you start walking. Is this man a vampire? Yes. Okay. And uh, exuding quite a lot of power. Uh, none of you have met him, but the prince and everyone else is at a little bit higher stature than you are, are treating him with the same amount of respect that he just greeted you with him. In fact, you see a prince actually support like the same thing he has long sleeves too so i mean he actually like adopts the look of course he does is he still in his crushed purple mm -hmm. velvet oh yeah, oh, yeah. Formally known as prince. oh yeah you yes. have to admit the man has some style well like purples look good on everyone there's reasons that kings and queens choose purple i mean is... i don't know that it looks good on everyone well uh... anna i think you would look fantastic in purple oh my god i know right <laughs> Day. Isn't it true? Day thinks about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys are walking, and he's like gesturing and telling a little bit of the history. It's like, this has been around since the um, 10th century before Christ was actually born. It's a strange moment. And then, like, so, like, you kind of catch part of that conversation as he's, like, different, like, you know, a fountain as you walk by, like, this, it was made by the, and blah, blah, blah. But, like, it is grand. It's beautiful. Especially from where you're coming from, one of the most beautiful parts of it is that it seems untouched. Like you can feel the stillness of the night. You can still smell the sweetness of a hunt. The big doors open in front of you, two giant ones. Like we have prepared rooms for everyone in the world. Um, outfits, a little bit of respite. Uh, if you'd like to stay in tonight, this is fine. I would maybe suggest going out. It is a beautiful city, and who knows when's the last time you will get to see one. Did you say something about the food? Of course. I uh, am starving. Tokyo itself. There is... were no snacks on the plane. Well, uh, you can order in. I mean, takeaway is always famous in Tokyo. Oh, but... Anna, wouldn't you like to go out and hunt, though? This is the thing that I'd like to say. Uh, Tokyo is probably the most progressive of all the cities in America, uh, or the world, as it would be, when it comes to vampire and normal populist relations. We expect our vampires to be vampires, and we protect our human population as equals. What, do you mean the food is equal to the vampire, sir? Without the I wheat, mean... no, there is no bread. Without yeast, the bread does not rise. I mean, I guess. It is a symbiotic relationship in between human populace and our uh, vampire people that are visiting our city. It's one of the reasons that people visit here. So are you telling me that I can order Greek and Greek just shows up at the door? As long as you do not kill them, yes. Huh. Like I said, take out in Tokyo. Fantastic. But I would suggest you see our city first. Oh, come so, on, Anna. so Danica, do you want to order like an international food tray? I want to go eat people. Come on. Mm -hmm. Feed. 
Not to eat. <laughs> I want to go feed people. Come on. Feed off of people. Yeah, unless sure. you want to feed them grapes while they sit on the chair or something. We could do both. It could be fun. I mean. Maybe make them taste like grapes. It could keep their electrolytes up, I suppose. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, you got to admit, it may not be the Vegas way, but... I'm sure this hell beats a river of blood and eternal darkness. We've been ordering in for so Your long. You're such a ray of sunshine all the time. It's wonderful. Day, hey, come on. You can't tell me you don't want to go feed as well. Dude, I'm going to get so fucked up tonight. And then Lawrence looks up and he's like, ah. And he, like, and, like picks up the thing. He's like, we kind of have an invitation. An invitation? Yeah, I have a... The Mystic Arts are kind of big in all the Asian pieces of the world. The this who? The, the mystic arts of any kind, uh, any of the spheres, and any, my kind of people. Ah. That's uh, kind of concentrated here, and we have an invite uh, to go hang out with a couple of them. It's been a while, and now that I'm me, I kind of want to show off. Hey, Lawrence, you know, I'm always down to party. It's going to be one hell of a party, and it's all going to be in the same spot. He looks up to the guy that has the, you know, the, the two-arm thing. He's like, is this, in, is this in the south side of? He's like, of course. This is where we'd prefer you to stay, to be completely honest. So it's okay to feed as long as we stay in the confines of this club? No, not a single club. An entire strip. You have strips as well, I've been told, and I've seen. We had strips. Yes. Come well, on, Anna, it could be so fun while we're matching outfits. We can ride Cerberus. And you can even bring your dog. Like, we can bring the dog? It'd be fine. Can I ride dog? We could put Rasputin on Cerberus. I want to ride dog. Just like, don't hurt him. What, like, no kicking insides or what? Like, yeah. No. I said, yeah. I look at Cerberus. Knows. <laughs> 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 just, just quiet now. <laughs> he goes, if the guns be okay, little pony, it'd be fine. For the people who can't see, Robbie just gave the most desperate look. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like, it'd be fine. And he scratches behind his head and Cerberus. Although it's not like turned off from Rasputin, he does not want to be red, red as a pony. I mean, like... Cerberus, it's okay. It'd be fine. Like, we'll get you a nice steak afterwards. Like, how do you speak to dog? I don't know. It'd be like, woof. No, woof, like, he understands English. Okay, I want to ride you as pony. Cerberus again goes. Yeah, I'm sure you could see that as well as I could. He said no. Fine, I won't a, ride the Cerberus. You can ride him as a I'm wolf, going, but I'm not going, as a pony. I, I want to ride something tonight. Let me tell you this thing is facts. Oh God! Would you keep that behind the closed doors? Yeah. Yeah, Anna, the, the, you got a babysitter. Honestly, yeah. no. no, like babysitter. No, no, She's no. my baby. You want to see a wild night out? You want to hang with this guy? Oh let's, no, I do. So, I'm let's saying, go to the rooms. I smell like old things I can't say on internet. So can I turn to the host, the kimono yeah. man? Mm -hmm. What's his name? Ichimono. These town cars are cool and all, but is there something a little? Bastard. Oh my god, is there a motorcycle with a sidecar? Take... I could put Cerberus in the sidecar, put Anna on the back. Can... I thought I was going to be in the sidecar. No, we gotta put the dog in the sidecar. No, I need the goggles for my eyes. We can still get you goggles. We can provide all things that you'd like. Amazing. In... May I suggest going to your rooms first? Oh, of course. Uh, transportation shall be provided when you come downstairs. So, you go up to your rooms. Come uh, on, Anna, let's go, and I grab her. There's a... You go. go you guys go to the same rooms, because you do have different rooms. Red room's like, okay, there better be good shit upstairs. Like, and he storms up one of the things. He's like, who, who is leading me? And he looks at me like, he's like, you tell me what a room is. And he, like, makes somebody, like, go I'm not away. taking that man anywhere if he still wears Crocs. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, don't be glad that he didn't bring the ones that he has got that are bejeweled. Oh, God. And he's like, you know, I usually wear onesies. And that's the last thing you hear as you hear, like, the door slam behind him. See, Danica's not used to being alone yet, so she's fully leaning into, like, Sure, sure. That makes, that makes great friendship. sense. That makes great sense. Um, so the prince gets led. He, he apparently, his room's not upstairs. His apparently is downstairs, probably some, like, state 
quarters because of his occupation. Rasputin is probably just crashing somebody else's room. Um, the Jessicar and the um, the Walking Saint stay sentry in the front door. They really have no interest in changing. Uh, but you do notice as you're walking up that the Jessicar is watching you specifically. Did you want to come with us or? Oh, I think he wants to come with you. Well, do you get it? The double entendre, right? Uh-huh. That <laughs> uh-huh. I do it right? I'm just, Danica's so confused. <laughs> it's like, how? Oh. He looks over to the, the walking saint on his side. Like, hunting would be useful before we become too integrated to have a little bit of fun. I'll bid you adieu. And he nods to the to the walking saint. And there's like a little... Actually, can uh, I would say no one has all specs, right? You're the only one looking. I'd uh, roll your perception, which is not a thing you have. Investigation your, uh, awareness? No, no, your wits and investigation. And I'm looking for three sixes. I got one six. You, you see that they have an interchange. You see that there is a, a nonverbal back and forth, but you're, you don't know what it is. It could just be like a not of respect, or but you, you don't really, and none of the rest of you saw that interchange back and forth. So the, the Jesse car doesn't leave. He, he stays there, but he's going to come with you. Hey, Jesse, what's your favorite color? Green. Okay. Noted. Anna, his name is Van. Danica, we're going to put you in green. The most wonderful emerald green. It's his favorite color. Okay. He's right. going to sink our little snack. Um. That's <laughs> fucking wonderful. <laughs> All right, so um, so uh, who who gets to the room first? Well, I assume after while this is happening, I was smoking a cigarette in the elevator, so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I imagine at this point, Anna's probably pulling me. <laughs> yeah, right? We're going to do your hair. We're going to get your hairs curled. I understand that the boys, they like these things. I don't know. Um, Wait, you don't know? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? So you're still downstairs? No, no, I'm going to my room. You're going to your room? Yeah. I don't know if Lawrence came with me. Lawrence is he's kind of perplexed almost by the card he has. Mm -hmm. He's like, no, no, go, go. I'm good. I'm I'm good. uh, it's going to be a very change. interesting night, though. I mean, t- just go get dressed. Yeah, we're, we're, I give like one of those looks like, yeah, oh, it's going to be a night, isn't yeah, it? Okay, oh, yeah, you dog. Yeah. <laughs> is there a room with like an attached bathroom that has double bathtubs so Anna and I can both take a bubble bath, but separately? Double I mean, bathtubs? Where yeah, like one on one side and one on the other side. Where have you ever seen double bathtubs? Uh, uh, right palace. now, you've seen, you walk <laughs> in <laughs> to double bathtubs. <laughs> There's jets. It's already bubbly. Q it montage. is already heated. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, no, no, no. Q montage? You tell me what the montage looks like. Yeah. Oh, we're taking bubble baths. Yeah. We're oh, painting oh, each oh. other's nails. Uh, you got you got like forty five minutes. So you're doing this in celerity, like, yeah. like oh super yeah. Fast. yeah, right, yes. yeah. I'm using my fleetness. Fleetness. I think that's right. passive, right? Fleetness mm. for fleekness. You know what I'm saying? Oh! Whoa! Oh! Click, <laughs> boom. And that's today's episode. Yeah. And it on high It's the whole them. like we're in towels with our hair wrapped up, and then we're like painting each other's toenails and like putting makeup on. I don't understand these little brushes. They always seem so silly to me. So, Anna, what do you mean you don't know what the boys like? Haven't you ever been with a man? I don't know what. What? No. I just got no interest. Have you ever been with the woman? I've got no, I've got no interest in these things. Really? Truly. Why? Because I've got all of the other things that I have to do. There's so much reading what do you do to and so much stress. Studying. <laughs> Kill the day. <laughs> Right, uh, to relieve stress, I don't know, I cast magics. Right. I think I have an idea for tonight. So this is mascara. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a preference? I'm sure even before you were a vampire, you had to have, like, a crush at some point. No, because I uh, didn't really... I was always... 
oh, reading, and I was always yeah, doing. Yeah, no, I got the, that. You like the books? Well, even like, before, because I, you know, I I found Rasputin by accident on the day that he was supposed to be assassinated by this old lady in the village. I kiss her. You tell me what you do. <laughs> I go, uh, ma, don't know what that was for. Did that do anything but... for you? Uh, you feeling anything? Oh, weird. <laughs> okay, so then we'll find you a man. <laughs> <laughs> and montage. I don't, I don't know. I want to get you with the Jesse. I think the Jesse has a thing for you. Oh, yeah, no, I'm going to go for him, but like we got to find someone for you, too. No, it's not important for me. Come on. What do you want? We're montaging. Leave us alone. <laughs> She just kissed me and I don't know under why. I don't understand. <laughs> Anna. Your choice if you want to open the door or not. All right, fine. Anna, go pick out a dress. I'll get the door. All right. Open the door. Yes, hello. Uh, you're used to seeing you're used to seeing Rasputin in t-shirts, eye makeup, like graphic tees like sweatpants uh like not hoodie but like uh like a beanie yeah, beanie like like a always, goth college kid yeah right but obviously he got brought into a room that was nothing but suits and this is a like fourth century suit tails big fluffy frills on his chest a stock shoelace thick a uh, bow tie that drops down into it. There's a little bit of green that like reflects down. If he didn't look so ridiculous, he would look amazingly well dressed. I like, just, okay, let's go out on town. I kneel. I'm like, sir, I promise my intentions with your daughter are nothing but pure. And you're like, I don't care what you want. Like, it's fine. <laughs> And he has, he has a cane. He, like, goes boom, boom, boom. Okay, like, can you just give us, like, two more minutes to get it's dressed? It's fine. Get dressed. I want to go eat something. Can I blink into my dress? <laughs> you can, yeah. Actually, roll for that. Aw. I want to see if it it's backwards cool. or forwards. <laughs> just the one die? Yeah. Well, so if my celerity's three, because I never use this. Uh, this so this, one, this just... one's just for funsies. Okay. Uh, so I'm, I'm only going to ask you for a five. I got a nine? There you go. Immediately into my shoes, my dress. Yeah, right. Like, <laughs> like up, you've taken three. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, like, whoa, that was fast. Thank you. It's like, it's okay, I'm still hungry, although that was fast. Come on, Anna, get dressed. We're purple. Can you describe your dress? What's I'm, your green dress look like? I'm more... It's like a green velvet. The top comes just above the chest with like spaghetti straps and the back is really low and kind of dips kind of short but not too short your dog walks up to you sniffs the front of your dress and looks in the back sniffs in the back goes mating <laughs> no mating no Cerberus we don't call it that anymore ha <laughs> walks out <laughs> I try to follow him and brush him it's like, not mating. No, you need to look nice. <laughs> We're going out on the town. God, I wish you had more words with him because he could be funnier. <laughs> <laughs> he it's just looks back way. at you. It's better just this way. Like, shakes his head. But you can see that, like, as he walks, his his butt definitely has a swag to it. He's, he's like, fine. I like, follow with a bow tie and try and clip it on him. <laughs> he stops. He allows it. Dope. Dope. Looks back at you. Dope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Anna comes out and she, one of her more striking attributes has been her long, jet black, super shiny, like so black it's almost blue hair. Sure. It falls to her waist. When she comes out, she's wearing a, uh, <laughs> um, a black dress. It's all sequin, but it has oranges on it that are also in sequence like like the fruit like the fruit like, like the they... fruit <laughs> that's so no 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 that hang out it's like the print of the dress ah uh, okay is okay. oranges okay. so on brand and she has this orange orange wig 
uh, blunt bangs, very square, very blunt cut. Like a bob. Like yeah. Li- like Lilu? Yeah, yeah, but not like all twisted. Yeah, yeah. Um, a little like uh, page, Betty. Like it's an right? inverted bob, <laughs> so it's longer in the front, okay, like shorter enough. in the back. Fair enough. Like a long Karen. Yes, I see it. I see it. Okay. I got what you got. All right. But her shoes are uh, tangerine orange slip-on Vans. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I think that I am ready now. Yeah. I mean, I thought we agreed on purple, but yeah, I think that suits you. You don't wear purple either. No, I'm wearing green. Mm. So, uh, Rasputin sees you, and like, oh, you look nice. And you have, so do you. you have never seen him like this. Oh this my is, god, you're so handsome. Wow. Come on, Dad. That put was, a smile on your that face. There was nothing left in closet. This is the only thing. Monkey super. Better than N64 shirt I've been wearing for three days. I like the shoelace for the tie. That's a nice touch. It was actually my shoelace. It was like it just needed something else, you know what I mean? Like, I thought that was a familiar smell. Yes, I mean, like, rather than it smells of roses, just, anyway, you Can read I the gall? walk up to Rasputin and just take the shoelace off, take the tailed coat off, and then roll up the sleeves of his shirt so he looks more modern? He looks at you, like, the entire time this is happening back and forth. He's like, this is okay with you? And it just shrugs. Okay, so I should I have just like worn like a t-shirts. Down, just like tucked into his nice pants, you know. Okay, so I still keep ruffles, though, right? Surprisingly, he seems to like the ruffles. <laughs> like I don't, Actually, I like want doesn't. to you keep. Can, yeah, you can keep the ruffles. Okay, so just like roll sleeves. Can I tie the shoelace around his neck like a choker? I'm okay with this. <laughs> okay, we ready to go eat people. Where is Day? Is Day not coming with us? I mean, if we find Lawrence, you, we'll probably so, find Day, right? Well, they, Lawrence is downstairs. So, this is just an assumption. You have a very different room from the rest of them. It almost feels like it's outside. All the walls from the one that you walk into, that's the only one that seems to be like made of wood. Everything else is complete glass. And it's nothing but sprouts of bamboo that line the entire four walls that gives the dimension of the room. The ground is small stones, not cobblestone, but like little, small little things that are kind of uncomfortable on your shoes. Mm-hmm. You take them off as you take a couple steps in, and now it's almost like a spa. You see cut out of this bamboo area. There's a bed, there's a dresser, mm-hmm. freestanding, and the bathroom's freestanding as well. And the mirror that you see is floor to, floor, not floor to ceiling, but a giant one. That, you know those tipping ones? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know how to describe that. Yeah, yeah the ones on the hinge. Yeah, on the hinge. You see just all the dirt and the grime of Vegas. There is a clawed tub set up and a sanding shower, one of mm-hmm. these things. Yeah. Uh, but, but you see the dirt and grime of not just of what happened tonight, but maybe what's happened in your life a chance to wash it all off all the amenities you can shave you can change your hair there's there's time i uh i undress completely Mm -hmm. and uh and you can see the dirt's not just on your face it's also in your hair and we're from where not just from the battle but just from the life you've had i walk up to the mirror and I'm looking at myself. And I can see the scars yeah. from before I was Absolutely. a vampire. I've got a couple stab wounds and stuff, and you know, I had a rough life yeah. up until that point. It's still a rough life in general, yeah. but um, and I, I do see that on my left forearm I have an X, like a scar, mm-hmm. an X, which uh, was a my old friend back when I was a human. Sure, we did a. That kid thing where you do the you know, mm-hmm. like blood pact. Sure. You know, I'm just kind of reminiscing for a moment. I turn the shower on the hottest setting because I know I can't feel it. Wash it all off. As you're looking down, you can see the dirt and the grime start making a little circular pattern around this. And there's no glass around that shower. It's just literally a, a shoulder to shoulder mm-hmm. rain like spigot that comes straight down on you. Yeah, right. And you and you can just watch the grime 
circle the drain around the tile on the bottom of the floor. Yeah, so I, you know, wash off, mm -hmm. get it, you know, get my hair nice and nice and pretty. Um, and I step out and I wipe the fog off of the mirror. Sure. Do you? I can just see my You're eyes. Funny. Yeah. And I'm looking at them because I feel different ever since. Can you tell me I, why? What What was it? The was it, was, it the moment with Lawrence? It was with Lawrence room? when I I know I gave up something, mm -hmm. and I feel different and I feel weaker in some ways and stronger in others but I feel almost less vampiric for the first time you start to take a step away from the mirror and oddly enough you find yourself looking at the mirror again as if you didn't walk away mm -hmm. it's like you took a step and then like that step didn't happen mm -hmm. and you're still looking at the mirror it's jarring not scary but it's jarring and you're like interesting I lean forward and I'm looking into my eyes because I know Lawrence has Circus. his eyes and I'm like staring into my own eyes and just you stare for a long time but you you don't see the gears mm. I'm just like I don't know what the fuck happened but there is that little skip yeah not that you did anything on purpose but yeah you did you did you felt a skip mm -hmm. kind of try to shake sure. it off I uh you're tired you know are there uh like uh hair clippers yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, like you have you have a set of like every single piece in there is like a thousand dollars. The 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 scissors are from here. The the clippers are from there. The the sh the razor is from here. The the wax for your beard is from here. The the hair care is from there. This is this is like you're definitely in a room that was reserved at a place that you probably would have never gotten into. So, so even within this chaos, you're being treated to things that, I mean, your type and your personal personality, mm. per, even at your age, mm. you never thought you'd be privy to. Yeah, because uh, my hair is not quite shoulder length, but it's uh, usually up until now it's been slicked back. Yeah. It's, it's a jet black hair. It's not shiny like Anna's. It's mm -hmm. just like a dark black. Sure. And it comes to right out the middle of my neck. Sure. And I'm actually gonna shorten it. Cool. Well, gonna, uh, can you give us a little bit more about yeah. what it actually looks like yeah. now? I'm, uh, it's, now it's a little, it's uh, not super short, um, a little longer than like, you know, not quite medium, a little shorter than like a medium length that it was. You know, I pull it up to where it's just below the ears. Okay. Or I do fade. And instead you, of uh, you do clip the top of your right ear as you're trying to pull it off <laughs> Fuck. but uh but like you're a vampire so it heals immediately i mean like yeah no problem but like it's been I mean, a while since like yeah you're not a barber yeah. you know so just uh just so it's shorter sure going sure. up it looks good yeah and then um instead of slicked back it's gonna is it like shaved on the sides or just short yeah no the sides and in the so back cool shaved cool cool in the back has uh now it's more of a side part. All right. Uh, not a hard part, but it's more of a side part. It's right. more of a, a rustled mm -hmm. look, you know. Like the way that your hair normally looks? No, but like longer, black, and shaggier. And like styled, you know. So sure. it's that messy look. Oh, yeah. You know, but it's got you more got, of a... You got all the product in the world. Yeah, it's got like, it's got a clean look halfway, yeah, yeah. and then more of a messy look. And then a shave, you know. Like uh, you nothing know. left on the face, so clean shave? Nothing, or... nothing ah, left on the face. all right, cool. A little bit of eyeliner. All right. Around the eyes. Down. And uh, I walk to the... Uh, what color? For your eyes, uh, like a steel gray. Cool. What kind of uh, eyeliner is it? Like purple? Or... It's a black. It's like black. a like a matte black eyeliner, cool. just to make the the eyes a little more. Sure. You sure. know, it's not like a heavy eyeliner, not like our Sputin. Yeah. It's just just around the a water tight lines. Water line. Yeah, like a cool. tight water line, just so the eyes just a little more. No. You know. Down, down, down. Then I go to the clothing area. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at multiple of styles, essentially what you'd like to dress as. I think this uh, bag of holding has it for you. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna do like a, uh, it's like a, a matte black with gray pinstripes suit. Like suit suit? Mm -hmm. Okay. But with a, a, a gray jacket okay. that has uh, a little embroidery, like the floral embroidery. Cool. On it. I'm down. You know, with a lighter gray. Mm -hmm. Like not apparent, but when you look at the jacket, you can see it, mm -hmm. that kind of feel. Yeah, so like the, cool. the sleeves and the, the slacks are pinstripe. Cool, cool. That. And then, uh, I'm not gonna do a jacket. Okay. I'm gonna put my uh, my blood drugs inside the vest. Okay. And I'm gonna close the vest. Are you gonna rock out with your big ass fucking hammer or? Uh, I'm going a little lighter this okay. time because I feel weaker. 
almost, okay. in some ways, and it feels like it would be heavy. So it's my silver dagger, like the bowie knife, mm-hmm. and then on my left thigh, it's the, the club, like okay. the, the shillelagh that sure. I had. Sure. Oh, and that's another question. Are you girls going out with any kind of weapons at all? Uh, Rasputin doesn't seem to be have anything, although he does have this cane. I've got garter on each leg with a dagger. Okay. Touched. Is it visible? Then, oh, no, it's under the dress. Oh, that'd be sexier if it was. No. Uh, <laughs> not yeah. trying to get arrested. Sure. And then, uh, um, you, you, you're, this is not the town to get arrested in. Yeah. <laughs> and then in my handbag, I also have, like... So you got, like, a clutch? Or, a, like, yeah, a strappy... Yeah, like a strappy... clutch. Like another, like a throwing knife. Okay. Anna, do you have anything on you? Um, she... Ah. <laughs> yeah, they're pointed. Anna has her chain whip. Mm. But she's wearing it. Folds it. down. I mean, like. Yeah, yeah, she's wearing it like a as a bracelet. As a bracelet. Oh, yeah. That's, that's sexy as bracelet. fuck. Yeah. So that's really so cool. So it like it kind of goes up her arm. That's really cool. Mm. So I've actually cleaned up for the first time probably since anybody, especially Danica's been the longest. I've always looked like a a grimy. No, she's had she's had to at least be in club attire for almost her life. No, but I haven't. She's no, that's like, what. Yeah, 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 when yeah, I yeah. show up, I'm always in the same outfit. Yeah. You know, I look mm-hmm. kind of greasy. You know, I'm always a little dirty. How does it feel when you look back at your reflection? It feels oddly satisfying. Had you ever done this in your previous life before you became a vampire? I've always been kind of dirty. You know, it, it got worse after my sire killed herself. Mm-hmm. That's when I. That's when I grew the hair out. And, mm-hmm. You know, always had like a little bit of the stubble. That's when I moved to Vegas and started doing the drug mm-hmm. trade. But I've always been a little dirty. And the only jewelry I have is a uh, it's a, a white gold ring with a, like a blood red ruby. Okay. Like not huge, but you know, noticeable. Yeah. And yeah, just take a look at myself. Coming back, it looks like a well put together, well thought after individual is about to have an incredible night out in the town. Yeah. Oddly I'm mostly enough, trying to surprise Lawrence. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oddly enough, it's usually what you would dislike in people but like now that you've done it and after the night that you've just had it feels kind of burned yeah i feel like you know i want to have a good night and i want to i want to do it right yeah yeah so then i uh i take a last look at myself and i you walk out the door. door right as he walks out the door that's when rasputin's giving you shit so are we going or like oh it was like oh nice druggy makes druggy nice are we gonna go or fine? I'm ready. Like, how's that bottle, by the way? I don't know yet. I'm impressed. He actually looks as you see him. He like he's held off of like not crushing the bottle mm-hmm. or the first person to do cocaine. He's right, like, I mean, like, no, it's, it's okay. yeah, the, the first person ever to do cocaine. That was the oh, bottle. Oh, that one, that one. I thought you were yeah. talking about the upside down bottle. That's like, DMT. DMT. I've yeah, not done that yeah, one either. Right, yeah. <laughs> It's like I'm in, like like like, you know he's not lying. Like I'm impressed. I had problem not drinking an entire bottle. Was, actually, this is my fourth. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. It's it's no on no me. no no. It's we, on me. Uh, we killed them. I mean, like honestly, it was like it was a big deal when we found cocaine. But like it's fine. Yeah. So I uh, I walk up. You know. And... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lawrence is at the bottom of the set, uh, and the Jessica hasn't changed, but. He does watch you walk down the thing, and it's kind of predatorial. Derrica, you look good. You do too, surprisingly, Dane. Danica, walk like you're mad at the floor. I don't know why, but it's what the woman says on the TV with the top models. I stomp out the door. (laughs) Uh, Roll your uh, going down the stairs. Roll your composure. Uh, That's it? Yep. And Anna, I'm digging the I'm digging the tangerines. Thank uh, y'all. I'm looking for one six. I like your stripes. I got a seven. All right, so yeah, you you take a moment and you like grab the rail, you strike your best pose, and I mean you've been working in Vegas for a long, long time, man. Like I mean, like you know how to enter a room. It's your own problem. And. You fucking own it. You know how I to very work a walk yeah. down the stairs. You know how to work a staircase. Like a woman with a lot of power, like a CEO, just walk out the front door. Sure, past him. Yeah, and I don't look back. Uh, now that you see this, but there, he's like still sti- he, he's still staring at the staircase. So he didn't, on purpose, did not look at you walking past him. But there's definitely a smell. Masputin puts his arm out. 
taps his cane twice. Okay, so like you want to like be mad at Floor? <laughs> Are you going to be mad at Floor yeah. with me? He, he goes, ha, ha, ha. He stomps like three times. Like, idiot Floor. Like, all you do is hold people up. I know, it's the worst. You do like, he takes another step and like, we step on you all the time. Takes another step and like, all you can do is be underneath us. I don't think, I don't think he gets it. What is Cerberus thinking watching all of this happen? Cerberus C- has... <laughs> yeah. With, with the one bow tie on the top of his tail, and it's like his tail, and then like his top of his tail, and the bow tie is here. Okay. And like, so like that's... Mating. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. We're all you, just you, stomping yeah, around. Yeah, right? It was like, would you like to like make floor worse, or like should, have we dominated floor? No, we... We've almost dominated the floor. Then I think you... that we need to stomp a little bit more. Okay, then you'll make next thing. I need to work in these sneakers. Rubs the fucking, like, the next step he's on. He's like, you mean nothing to no one. You're closer to... I don't understand what we're doing. You're nothing but dirty. Ah, I like dirty, this. That's dirty, dirty floor. Horrible floor. You cannot even be swiffered. When was the last time you were even uh, vacuumed? I mean, like, yes, I like this. He stumps. <laughs> like, Dave is awkwardly walking yeah. fast. <laughs> Just like, I, I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to have a good night. Oh, <laughs> Fantastic. I can't, I can't uh, <laughs> yeah, let's take it. Let's, no, no, no. Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> like, not even vacuums I see that starts with D and the commercials could vacuum you. I mean, like, well, with the cyclone. Yeah, cyclone is the one that I was looking cool. for. What is this called? I don't know, but it's yeah, the vacuum. Like, like, fuck that British guy. You could not be cleaned by British guy. <laughs> is stump, this all stump. out loud? Of oh course. yeah. Oh okay. Oh yeah. Completely <laughs> and utterly, just like yeah, we're gonna. Danica walk actually the- does turn back and like. <laughs> Nods yeah, completely. right. And, and your dog, as you as he walks by, is like stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Mating. All right. Stupid. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, hey, Jesse, I saw you notice her. Don't be so shy about it. Get your fangs wet. I give Anna like a thumbs up. <laughs> Looks and goes. Oh, all right, let's... Do you want to be mad at the floor too? You can see him slightly pick up the rest, his back of his heel, and like ground his toe into the ground. That's the spirit! I knew you had it in you. And he, and he winks at Rasputin, and you get the first time that maybe they used to hang out. I mean, Rasputin seems to, now that you get to see Rasputin in the world, because you spent most of your time in Vegas trying to make a Vegas for him. Right. You're starting to see that, like, Rasputin maybe has, like, kind of a circle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like That's he's just, yeah, he's just kind of a party dude, Dad. Is uh, Lawrence at the? Uh, he is, and he, and he looks up, and, and he he doesn't drop his note. He, he was reading this note, and he's taking a lot of time on this and trying to figure out what it means to him. Mm-hmm. He looks up, and he takes that note, and he finally folds it instead of keeping it pristine. And he puts it in his back pocket. Goes, wow, man! Well, I wasn't gonna let you show me up, huh? And he looks down at his stuff, and he's still in his duper dress. And he's like, I, I just didn't feel right walking upstairs. It's kind of a vampire thing. No, but... no, nah, man. You, you go where I go from now on. Okay. Well, then and let's... vice versa. Then I, then I can't wait to he patch his back pocket and take you someplace nice. All right. Sounds um, like a plan. Does he just pat his bottom while he was talking to you? That's so cute. Um, he takes your walk down with Rasputin. For one second. You both take one step back up and one step, to, step down. You don't fall or anything, but you feel the difference. And he winks. Lawrence, Lawrence that reminds me. Uh, I think I shifted earlier. I was in the room. What do you mean shift? I was staring at myself in the mirror having an existential crisis as I do and I turned away from the mirror and then I wasn't turning away from the mirror then it's a good then it's a really good reason that we're going to where we're going tonight it was uh it was a little weird man <laughs> you're telling me you should have seen what happened to me when I like changed the whole five minutes of the car like yeah but at least you knew you were doing it shit <laughs> and he, like he, gra- he grabs your like wrist mm-hmm. And like, how do you feel now? Do you feel 
like a little shaky. Like you're, you're you're not supposed to be able. None of none of your kind are supposed to be able to do this at all. I mean, the true Bruja, but like that's not a that's a long story. That's I mean, I am a Bruja. I mean, I may be an elder in power, but I'm not an elder in knowledge. We're going. We're going to go this way anyway. All right. Let's. As you walk out, there is a party bus, and I do mean a party bus. There's no lights going inside. You can see in the bottom of it, flashing green to red, to white to gold. The guy that was in the kimono says, have a good time in our city. Hell yeah, I just rode on the bus. <laughs> I wanted to take on on a motorcycle ride. Not in this dress. We'll get oranges all over the road. I can just, like, <laughs> rip the side of it so there's a slit. I'm like, look, now it's fine. Oi, this is my dress. What's my dress? Uh, Lawrence, can you fix that? <laughs> <laughs> he goes like this and, like, returns. <laughs> like, it splits his hands and it does put you back. I my head hey, hey, it's not a party trick, all right? All right, all right, all right. But the dress does renet. It's like, come on, guys. It's actually kind of painful when I do this Lawrence shit. Lawrence saves the day again. Oh, yeah. I just get on the bus. I'm on the bus. Again. All right, but like I said before, I only trust you today. He knocks on the window. The guy gets right out. He gets in. All aboard! And thanks again for joining us for Vampires and Vitae. It's been our pleasure taking care of you today. Remember, we're going to have new and exciting content coming out every Friday. So like our page and follow us. Also share because we're going to have a wonderful time building this incredible community together. And always remember, take a big bite out of life.